Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Fun in the Kitchen with April. So today, I am going to show you a quick little recipe, you know, something like an appetizer. So when you have people over, you can give them something quick to eat until the food is ready, you know. With the pandemic kind of, I guess, coming to an end, I don't know what's going on. You know, people don't want to be vaccinated, but whatever. Um, you know, you're, we're starting to gather again. So this is a nice appetizer that you can serve. And what it is, is basically a spaghetti nest with meatballs in it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the two different ways I'm going to make the meatballs. Okay, so one will have a dipping sauce with it and the other will sit in the nest of the spaghetti. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here I have two separate bowls because I'm going to divide up my um, turkey. Okay, so I'm using ground turkey today. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need. Now you can use um, ground beef, ground pork, ground chicken, whatever you choose to use, but I'm using ground turkey today. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna separate my ground turkey. So I have ground turkey. I'm going to do one egg. I'm going to use um, ranch seasoning, a uh, um, complete seasoning that has everything in it. Onion, garlic, um, basil, everything you could think of. Uh-oh, sorry. Everything you could think of is in this seasoning. I'm also going to use um, grated uh, Parmesan cheese. Well, it's a three blend cheese. So it has Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago, okay? And I'm going to use mozzarella. I'm going to use some breadcrumbs and um, some onion soup mix. And this one has mushrooms in it, okay? So what we're going to do first, and of course, again, as I always say, make sure your hands are clean. My hands have been washed and I am going to wash them again as I separate, um, once I put the egg in here and then I wanna separate my meat so I can season the two different meatballs. I'm gonna wash them again before I add the cheese and stuff in, okay? So, now I'm going to crack my egg because I wanna get my egg and I'm gonna blend the egg in there before I put any other season in this way. I don't have to worry about trying to season, I mean, trying to put egg in one and egg in the other, okay? We just need one egg for this, okay? So I'm going to crack my egg. There we go, there we go. And I'm going to throw this shell in the garbage. Now what I'm going to do is mix my egg in to my meat first. Only because I am going to divide my meat up so I can have two different flavors of meatballs, okay? Now if I was doing one flavor, I would just put all my seasoning in and then mix everything in together. But because I am doing two different um, flavored meatballs, and actually, I'm going to add my breadcrumbs in here too. And I'm using Italian style breadcrumbs. So I didn't really measure it out. I just kind of poured some in. So this is where we're at. And I think that's enough breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna mix this all up in here, okay? So again, I'm using Italian style breadcrumbs. So that means they have a little seasoning to them, okay? All right, so I got this all mixed up with my egg and my breadcrumbs, okay? And this was only a pound of ground turkey, okay? Now, sometimes I get the ground turkey that has like the Italian sausage seasoning to it, which I thought I actually picked up today, but I didn't. So we just we just have regular ground turkey. All right, all right. So now I'm going to divide my meat up into my other bowl here so that I can have two different flavor meatballs, okay? And I hope you guys 
are enjoying your weekend. It is Saturday and I happen to get off work early because usually I wouldn't be able to do this this early in the day because I'd be at the salon. Yep, I would be at the salon doing some heads beautifying Snellville, Georgia because that is where I'm at. Yes, um, but I happen to get off early today which was a blessing. It doesn't happen all the time. So I'm taking advantage of this time. And I said, I'm going to do a fun in the kitchen with April for you all because I have missed you guys so much. You know, I've been so busy again. I know I keep saying it, but it's true. I've been busy at work. So I haven't really had the time to do um, fun in the kitchen like I want to with you all, you know? So yeah so today is a great day and i'm going to do fun in the kitchen with you guys okay so now for i'm going to put this one to the side okay so i'm going to do this one with the uh, lipton soup mix the onion and the mushroom lipton soup mix okay and i'm probably because i divided it I'm not going to use the whole soup mix because I think that might be too much for just this little bit, okay? And then what I'm going to do is mix this up, get that mixed up in there. Yeah, because I think this soup mix might be, might do the job for this for you. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna add a little bit of this in here. There we go. Just sprinkle as much as you want in here. Because again, this seasoning is like a complete seasoning. You don't need anything else if you're using this because it has salt. It has the um, garlic and onions and all of that stuff in it. Um, all different kinds of uh, herbs and spices in this particular seasoning so that is why i like it because i really don't have to use anything else other than this if i'm if i choose to use this seasoning like i'm doing today okay so and what we're going to do with this also is which i think i'm going to add cheese into both meatballs i'm gonna move that over okay so I am going to take this and I am going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese in here, okay? And then I'm going to wash my hands so I can get some mozzarella cheese in here, okay? Because this is going to be amazing. The seasonings are in here smelling good, mm-hmm. Yes, they are. And thank you guys again for continuing to support me. And I hope that you guys have um, had a chance to take, to look at, uh, actually this hand is clean. So I'm just gonna pour this cheese into this um, bit of meat here. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I hope you guys got a chance to watch um, Salon Chat. I've only done two so far, but I'll be having another one uploaded for you guys really soon. So I hope you guys took the time out to check Salon Chat out. Um, I love doing it, and I want you guys to um, to hear some of the things that we talk about in the salon. We just have a good time in the salon when I'm there at work, and I want you guys to join in and and um hear the conversations that we have and the stories that are shared in the salon, you know, and I, I'm so grateful that my clients um, are willing to share some of the things with you all, our YouTube family, you know, because I, I think sometimes we always, we may feel alone in situations. So I hope you guys tune into Salon Chat, take a look at that. And as always, continue to watch Fun in the Kitchen with April you know so okay so now i got this all mixed up and see there wasn't i didn't have much cheese left in this package because i had been using it already so i just poured the rest of the cheese that was in here 
into my mixture here, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my, my, um, my pan here that I have and I'm going to make these meatballs in this pan. So, and I'm actually gonna put both flavors of meatballs into the same pan because it's big enough to do so. Okay. All right, so I had that all mixed up. So now we have, we're gonna take some meat and we're gonna roll it just like that. You know, um, uh-oh, <laughs> some meat got away, didn't wanna join the meatball. And you know, sometimes, like now, ground turkey can really stick to your hands but that's okay so there we go that's about the size we want to do the meatballs i'm not making a whole lot because i'm not having anybody over but i thought this was like a fun little recipe to do with you all and you can do it you know when you have um company or like me if you just feel like making a little appetizer because it's not quite dinner time you know it's not lunch time but you want a little something to eat you know what i mean so all right guys and this is all i'm doing okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to finish making these meatballs and i will be right back Okay, guys, I am back. So I've made my meatballs. I mean, my other flavor, the uh, onion mushroom soup meatballs. Uh, they're in the pan. Now we're going to make our ranch flavored meatballs. Okay. So again, I'm still going to use my Parmesan cheese and I'm still going to use my mozzarella. The only difference here is I am going to just use ranch for my seasoning and that's all we're going to need because this ranch has a nice flavor to it and this is all we're going to need for these meatballs here and i know it looks like a lot but i'm sprinkling um <laughs> this ranch seasoning onto my meat i just want to make sure that i'm good and seasoned okay all right so i think i may have enough okay so now i'm going to add my parmesan cheese in here and i'm going to add my mozzarella cheese and again i don't have to add a lot because i divided my meat up so it's not like i have a whole bunch of meat in my um bowl here okay so, and maybe I'll just sprinkle a little bit more. There we go. There we go. All right. So, now let's mix this up. Get all those seasonings mixed in to this meat here and the cheese. Get everything mixed up in here. Okay. And once we get these meatballs shaped, we'll put these in the pan with the other set and let them bake. Um, I have it set for 350 in the oven and I'm gonna let them bake until they're cooked all the way through and they're a nice um, color on them. So I'm probably gonna let them cook for about 45 minutes or so, but I'll check in between and I'll let you guys know um, how long I actually cooked them for. Then, what I'm going to do when they're almost done, actually when the meatballs are done, what I'm going to do is show you how we're going to do the spaghetti. So with that, I've already cooked the spaghetti because I wanted to make sure that was ready. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that, okay? Because the spaghetti nests don't take long. They only take about eight minutes or so in the oven at 400 okay so we're gonna do that last all right i think i got everything mixed up in here 
And again, I'm just going to make my, um, my little round balls again for my meatballs. And this smells really good, guys. It really does. I think this ranch is going to be good in these meatballs. And for this, well, either or, it doesn't matter because we can dip both. I'm going to make a nice dip for the meatballs, okay? I think you guys might like it. And then once you try it, I want you to let me know how you like it. And remember to subscribe to the channel, comment, let me know what you think, and like the video. All right, so now I'm gonna get my meatballs formed. You know, I just enjoy doing this for you all. This really makes me happy. I so love spending time with you all. And I hope you love spending time with me too. Okay, so I think I got this formed nicely. All right, so I'm gonna put that there. Okay. I'm gonna form another one. And this is all I'm doing, making balls. That's it. And like I said, this ground turkey is sticky. But it's gonna be good once it's all cooked up. Okay. So I'm gonna get these finished and in the oven, okay? I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, guys, so here are our meatballs. I'm going to cover this and cook it in the oven. Now, if you wanted to, you can also pan fry these, but I don't wanna do that. I just wanna put them in the oven. I don't wanna be hovering over a frying pan, plus I don't like all the popping and stuff sometimes. So we're gonna put this in the oven today, okay? And I will see you in about 40 minutes. Okay, guys, I am back and it's been 45 minutes. So I have taken my meatballs out and this is what they're looking like. So it got a little juicy in there and the cheese, of course, is all melted in there. So I'm gonna put these to the side for a minute and I'm actually going to, I tasted a piece, really good. I tasted a piece of the, um, the ranch style meatball amazing yes it is absolutely amazing <laughs> y'all know i think i can sing but i'm gonna cover that up and leave that there so now what we need to do is prepare our spaghetti so i had oh and by the way it was 45 minutes that i um cooked the um meatballs okay so now like i said i'm gonna prepare our spaghetti. I already cooked some spaghetti and I seasoned it again with the complete seasoning. Okay, so um, I also only let the spaghetti get to where it's al dente. So that means I cooked it for eight to ten minutes. Why? I don't want it to be overly cooked and it'd be too soft because we're going to put this in the oven. So what is it going to do once we put it in the oven? It's going to cook some more, right? Okay. So I've already seasoned it a little bit, like I said. And now I am going to add one uh, beat egg. So I beat the egg and we're going to add that to it. Okay. Next, I am going to take my Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put a little more Parmesan cheese in here, guys because that cheese is everything okay we're gonna put this cheese in here and it's gonna mix up so nicely next i again i'm going to add some mozzarella cheese and i really for this one i really don't have any real measurements it's just i'm eyeballing it and it's really how much you like of cheese and you know all the goodness so that's up to you how much cheese you want to put in but i'm also going to add some cheddar in here everything is better with cheddar add that to the game 
There we go. So I put all the cheddar in there. Okay. That's right. Get that cheddar in the game, y'all. Oh, I have a little bit left. Because for me, everything's better with cheese. So I'm using all kinds of cheese in here. And I'm going to kind of stir that up, get that all mixed up in there because that egg is in there, remember. So because you put egg in here, what are you not going to do? You are not going to taste it because that egg is what? Raw. Okay. And then we don't want anybody getting sick because you tasted it and it had raw egg. Okay? Don't do that. Not a good look. Okay. All right. So now I have some spaghetti sauce. So I'm going to take this spaghetti sauce. And I'm not going to add a whole lot, but I'm going to add enough. Okay? And then we'll add some. Once we put it all together, we'll add spaghetti sauce at the end as well. So I think that's enough spaghetti sauce. And we're going to mix it up again. Just mix all of this goodness in here together. Okay. Yep. Oh, I can't wait for you all to taste this recipe. I know it's going to be great. And let this be your next appetizer at your get together. You know, it's summertime. We need something that's not going to take forever in the kitchen. Something that's just quick and easy, you know, and can still look nice when you serve it. Okay. So I think I got everything mixed in there. Okay, got all my cheeses in here. Oh, that's going to make for an amazing, amazing, amazing pasta cup, pasta nest, whatever we call it. Whatever you want to call it because you're making it and it's your style. I'm sorry, I just be banging the um thing, but I got to um make sure I get all the goodness off of the spoon. Okay, so I am going to use a cupcake tin. Okay, or a muffin tin. And we're going to take this. And we're going to fill each cup. And make sure also I sprayed it so that the, um, the spaghetti doesn't get stuck. So I just use, you know, your cooking spray and spray the, um, the cupcake tin. So you can do the same. And you're just going to fill your cupcake tin. Okay. Now I didn't use a whole box of spaghetti. I just cooked up a little bit of spaghetti because I didn't plan on making a lot. So that's why I feel like the six cupcake tin should be fine. Okay. And it's okay if it um, doubles over a little bit, it's okay. It's okay. We want all that goodness to double over. That's just fine. And it smells good. It smells good. So, actually, you can say, like, this is another take on spaghetti and meatballs, but it's just we're making it into a bite-sized appetizer. So, that's all we're really doing here is making spaghetti and meatballs, but we're making it bite-sized so that you can serve it as an appetizer. And I think you will agree that it is going to be amazing and delicious. Yep, so I made, I put, made six, so that was great. Put a little more in there. There we go. Let's get all the goodness out of that. Okay, so what I need to do now is to kind of find something so that I can kind of cup it. And again, my hands are clean, so please make sure your hands are clean. So I need something that I can take and actually dent the middle. So give me a second. Let me find something. All right, so... I'm taking my ice cream scooper, the bottom of it, and I'm going to do just like that into the um, spaghetti so that I can make a little bit 
So it looks kind of like a nest, like I said earlier, okay? And we're gonna make a little dent in it, just like that, so that it makes kind of a nest. Uh-oh, I might have it too much filled up, but that's okay. We're gonna try to make sure everything stays in this muffin pan here. Okay. There we go. There we go. And you're just gonna kinda create a little dent in there. I don't want it to take all my little ingredients out of here, because that's what it seems to be doing. But we're just gonna kinda dent it so that it has like a little bed for our meatballs to lay on, okay? There we go. Okay. There we go. So I think I got that. So that's all you're gonna do is just take it and make a little dent into your spaghetti and go around the whole thing. All right. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, let me dent that one a little bit more. So now what we're gonna do is put this in the oven for 15 minutes. I know I said eight before, but it's 15 because you wanna make sure that it gets nice and crispy so that we can put our meatball in there, okay? So here we go, we're gonna put it in. Okay, so remember I talked about making a sauce. So while our spaghetti is in the oven cooking, we're gonna make our sauce. So the first sauce we're gonna make, which is quick and easy, is just our regular spaghetti dipping sauce. And I'm not gonna use a whole lot, because it's not like I have a whole lot of people. And in fact, let me switch eyes here for you. And so in this sauce, now we know that spaghetti sauce comes seasoned, but I like to add a little bit more. Okay, so let me add a little bit more of my complete seasoning in here, okay? That's what we're going to do. All right, then hold on because I forgot to get it. Hold on. Okay, so I've already added my complete seasoning in here. So now I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup. And the ketchup is just going to add an extra little something something to it i mean ketchup is essentially the same thing as the tomato sauce inside there but ketchup is a little sweeter and then i'm still gonna add just a tidbit of sugar because if you're like me any red sauce tends to give me just a little bit of acid reflux so you add a little bit of sugar to it not much so you add like a pinch of sugar to it and it helps take the acid out of it and it'll keep that acid reflux away, okay? So I am going to turn my stove on and we're gonna mix this up and just heat it up a little bit. And this is gonna make for a nice special sauce. And you know, if there's something else you'd like to add to it, you're more than happy, just like with the meatballs. Now you could cut up onions, bell peppers, garlic, and you can throw all of that, those fresh vegetables in there if you wanted to. You don't have to do it my way, but sometimes I do cut up the onions and the garlic and the, and the um, bell peppers, but I didn't do that today. But you can, if you like, and with this, if there's anything else that you in particular like to add to your spaghetti sauce, do it. So if you do want to add um, bell peppers or something like that or garlic, please go ahead and add it because you're making it for you and how you like it. I'm making it for me and my family and how I know we're going to eat it, okay? So I'm just basically, all I'm doing here is letting the um, sauce heat up because I've put everything that I'm going to put in it. There's nothing else that 
I need to put in this sauce. And it's actually going to be very good. You know, and then there's also because I use chunky spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce. Um, it has the chunks of vegetables in there. So you'll see the chunks of tomatoes and onion inside the type of um, spaghetti sauce I use. Okay. And you can see it's starting to steam. Steam up. You can see the little smoke coming up. So it's warming up fairly quickly. And especially because I don't have a whole lot of sauce in here. So it's going to heat up fairly quickly. And I got it kind of on high as well. So we're just going to let that heat up a little bit more. And that should be fine. Yep. Okay. All right. See, it's starting to bubble. That's telling me that it's getting hot. So this is your sauce that you can use for your dipping sauce. And I'm also going to drizzle a little bit of this sauce over our spaghetti cups, okay? So you wouldn't have all of this sauce for your dipping sauce, okay? Because you only need a little bit to dip, right? Okay, so this is ready. All right. So I'm going to switch eyes again because now I am going to show you the other sauce I'm going to make. Okay, let me clear my station right quick. Okay, guys, so I kind of messed up for you. I thought I was recording while making my cheese sauce, but this is the consistency you want. So what I did with my cheese sauce was I put a half a cup of evaporated milk in here. I sprinkled, and you just put as much as you want, Parmesan cheese. I put four cheese, Mexican cheese in here, and I put mozzarella cheese in here. Sorry guys, I, I didn't know it wasn't recording. And I used the, the evaporated milk because this is the consistency you want. You won't quite get that with whole milk, but with that evaporated milk, this is, you will get that consistency, okay? So our, um, our spaghetti cups are ready. So I'm gonna take that out. All right, give me a second. Okay, so as you can see, our spaghetti cups are done and they're ready and they look amazing. I've plated, I've plated so far the meatball in, here's our spaghetti cup right there. And the meatball inside of the spaghetti cup. So I use the onion mushroom meatball for the spaghetti cup and then I'm going to use the ranch uh, meatball that I made for our dip. So I'm going to finish plating this and I wanted you to see. I am so sorry guys. I thought you would, I thought I had the, um, the phone recording and I didn't. So I am so sorry for that cheese sauce. So now I'm going to put just a little bit of this sauce over my meatball and then i'm going to put a little bit of dipping sauce for my meatball and i'm going to try both sauces so i am going to have i know this is a, a spatula <laughs> so we'll see if i can get it on my Plate. Okay, I did. And I am going to try a little bit of the cheese sauce that I made. Okay. So, and then I am going to garnish. Well, I'm not going to, but you can. I left the cheese out so that you can garnish your meatball. Well, I'll show you. Your meatball with a little bit of cheese or if you have parsley, you can garnish it with parsley or oregano or whatever you want to garnish it with. And there goes the top of our meatball. So I am going to taste it for you. Give me a second.
Okay. So this is what we're looking like. Our meatball in the spaghetti nest and our, this is the ranch meatball I'm gonna try with the spaghetti sauce and the cheese dip that I made. So this way I can show y'all, well, at least try to tell you guys what it tastes like. So I'm gonna dip that. Mm. That is really good. You guys need to make this. And I wish I was lying, but it's really good. Mm-hmm. I did that on this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, this is why I love bringing y'all the recipe, because I know y'all going to love it. So now this is the cheese sauce. Mm. Yes. You guys. Mm. You have got to try this. Like, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're going to do the meatball and the um, spaghetti, the spaghetti nest. Okay. As you can see, I tore my spaghetti nest up, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh-oh, my meatball fell out. So, let me, let me try the meatball and the spaghetti together. Uh-oh, in the nest. Mm-hmm. The crunchiness that the spaghetti has from being baked on 400 for 15 minutes that is amazing and all the ingredients and then you really taste that good onion mushroom soup mix in there oh you guys have got to try this i'm not gonna sit here and eat in front of you but you guys have got to oh sorry i put my hand there <laughs> but you all you've got to try this so remember to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the video and let everyone know that you are loving these recipes that I bring to you. And I will see you next time. And also press the notification bell so that you know the next time I have a great recipe coming for you. Bye.